Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. I have a Thread Up goodie box unboxing for you today. I have done this twice before. Uh, one time I uploaded it to my channel, so I'll link the other one above me here. Um, what it is, is you pay 10 bucks and it's one time only, it's not a subscription, you do it whenever you want. Thread Up sends you 10 things that you could try on and keep if you like. The $10 goes towards what you keep. Um, yeah, so I really like it because it's not a subscription box. You just do it whenever you want to. And um, before you order it, you fill out a questionnaire and all that. So um, I'm excited. I haven't updated my, uh, I realized my size and I gained eight pounds over the holidays. So hopefully that's not gonna be problematic. But anyway, I'll do a try on for you now. Okay, so yeah, that weight I just mentioned that I gained, I can't zip these jeans up, but uh, they're super cute. Um, I really, I don't know if you can see, but I really like the way they make my butt look. Unfortunately, that eight pounds did me in, and I can't consider these jeans. <laughs> um, they feel really well made, really high quality. Um, the brands that they usually use, here I'll come down to talk to you guys. The um, brands uh, that they usually use are pretty high quality and that I've gotten in these boxes seem to be like higher quality. I did get a Massimo once, which is Target, which is still for me completely acceptable. <laughs> um, so these are the women's page jeans and they retail, estimated retail is $190 and they want $22.99 for them. If these fit, I actually really like them because I'm not a, a fan of like the pre-worn look um, and distressed and everything. So they're really nice and they look, they would look really good. I, uh, <laughs> that eight pounds, it's getting to me. Um, anyway, okay, so I am going to put on a pair of decent, de decent jeans. I'll talk about this top too, but I really want to be able to feel decent on camera. <laughs> okay, so these are the women's, um, Vince skinny jeans. Vince, oh, it just says women's Vince jeans. Uh, they're definitely skinny jeans, though. They, um, are very, very fitted. Let me see if I can show you guys um, all the way down. Yeah, so they're super fitted. Um, I, I don't, I'm not, they, they fit great. They fit, fit, fit really well. I like the way they feel. Um, they make the butt look cute. I am not a fan so much of the super skinny, almost jagging look on myself though, so I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to think about these, but these are probably a pass. And these are, the estimated retail is um, $195 and they want $24.99 if I were to keep them. Uh, and I'm probably not going to. So this shirt long sleeve blouse by Remade and it is estimated to retail for $88 and they want $32.99 and it's very nice um it's very sophisticated yeah I mean wow it's actually really really nice um well, think about this one. Okay, so now I have on the last pair of jeans they sent me. Again, they're the kind of super tapered, um, fitted jeans. Although these would look really cute with boots and they feel really nice. Um, I might consider keeping these. Uh, I might consider keeping the last ones too. Let me know what you guys think. Um, anyway, so these are the, uh, let me come to you. I scooted my camera further back and now the lighting's different. Anyway, you can still see me. These are the Pilcro and the Letterpress jeans is what the brand is. And the retail is $167 and if I keep them they want $26.99. Um, so there's that and then this gray thing is a cardigan and it's remade again. So there are a few remade things in here and I just discovered this tag and it says remade and then on the other side it says thread up so I'm curious if remade is a thread up 
brand or it says a new clothing line designed for the secondhand revolution so I may be too close I will try to clarify that anyway okay um, and then this black thing is the same blouse that I showed you previously okay so this is an Adriana Papel uh, casual dress. They say casual, but uh, okay. This is not quite casual for me. Um, it fits a little bit big. Uh, oh, it's a size 12, which um, I'm usually a 10 pre-holiday 8 pounds. <laughs> well, 7 pounds now. I was a pound down this morning. Um, Anyway, so this is actually new with tags, and this is this is awesome because my wedding dress was Adriana Papel, so that's super exciting for me. I got married in October. Um, anyway, so it retails for $160, and you can see that that's true right there. Um, it retails for $160, and if I were to keep it, they would want $33.99. It's not really my style. It's a lovely dress, but it's not really my style. So I will be sending this back. Okay, so here's another top. Um, this is not my style. You can see it has an elastic thing here, and then it's supposed to be kind of loose right there, and then I don't know. Uh, it's cute, but oh, and then it has like a keyhole in the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. What is in the way? Oh, my hair. Yeah. Um, okay, so this one is the Ella Moss three-quarter length sleeve top. Estimated retail of $168. That one I just don't believe. And then if I were to keep it, they want $26.99. Okay, so this one's kind of pretty. It's got a cute little off-the-shoulder thing going. It's totally sheer. You can see my bra, so I'd have to wear like a pink top or something. Or a cami. Um, yeah, this one's kind of cute. Um, I will consider keeping this one. Uh, it is... Uh, let's see. This one would be the Lucky brand three quarter uh, sleeve blouse retails for ninety dollars and if I were to keep it they would want twenty eight ninety nine I think it's kind of cute I don't know I'll consider keeping this one okay and then just a couple okay so this is a um, Calvin Klein dress and it's okay the material is like cotton and stretchy it feels like a beach cover-up that's what it feels like wearing it. I like that it has this gather right here. I don't know how well you can see that, but the material is gathered so that it doesn't just fall over your tummy. My tummy is not, you know, I gain weight in my stomach. Anyway, so um, it feels like a beach cover-up. I um, have something that feels exactly like this, so I'm not interested in keeping it. It is Calvin Klein. Retail is $139, no thanks. If I kept it, they want $30.99. So, um, I mean, it's a nice dress, but it, yeah, it feels like a beach cover-up that I would get at Target, you know? Okay, one more thing. Okay, so this is the last thing. It's a wrap dress. Um, I think that it's actually quite cute. It's a little bit 70s, uh, which used to be vintage. Now vintage is 90s. But, um, yeah, so I think it's okay, but I just, I don't think I would ever reach into my closet and pick it to wear. It's, I would maybe wear this once every few years, and so therefore I don't think it's really all that worth it. But I think it's a, a darling dress. I think it's cute. Or it would look really cute with some, like, chunky brown boot, boot bleh, chunky brown boots but I'm not gonna keep it um so this is that here's that remade uh brand again I'm gonna do a brief recap and I will and before I film that I will figure out what this whole remade thing is maybe it's a brand and you guys are laughing at me <laughs> for not knowing right away what it is but um of like four things on here maybe three 
things are this remade brand with the thread up tag. This one has the tag as well. So um, this is the women's remade casual dress, estimated retail $148, and they want $49.99 if I were to keep it. So this is the most expensive thing in the box. Um, okay, so stay tuned for a recap. <laughs> it's coming right now. <laughs> Okay, so I looked up remade. I don't if you noticed in the try on portion of this video, I was um, talking about how a bunch of the articles of clothing were from something called remade. And I did look it up. I actually forgot to, and I'm in fil filming this afterwards and inserting this clip. But I did look it up, and it is a brand that ThreadUp is is producing and it is designed to support secondhand clothing. Now this is kind of okay in theory, but it kind of bums me out because one of the things that I really, really love about ThreadUp is that it supports secondhand clothing, but why are they making new clothes to sell to support secondhand clothing? So unless it didn't, I read it a couple times, and so unless it didn't explain itself well enough, I think they're making their own clothing line now. Um, which kind of bums me out. Anyway, that's what Remade is. Stay tuned for the recap. I actually have further thoughts on the clothes. I really like the black blouse quite a bit. And reviewing the footage right now, I like more of the clothes than I did when I was trying them on and just looking in the mirror and at the camera screen. Um, Okay, to recap on everything that I tried on, I am just gonna get started. Okay, so here you go. I liked this black blouse that I tried on in the beginning at first. Where is the front? Um, however, I think it, it felt a tad too snug on me and it felt a little bit short in the front. This is driving me nuts. Oh, here we go. Okay. So it felt a tad too snug, not when I was actually wearing it, but to go like this to get it on and off, it felt just a little snug, which I guess that doesn't really matter. But what I didn't, didn't like so much about it is I wish it were just a little bit longer in the front because the blouse is beautiful. I'm going to try it on again with like a work outfit. I have a really big meeting that this would look, this I'd look really sharp in this tomorrow if I um, if I can get this to work with an outfit. I really like it. Uh, again, this is uh, a remade, which I said I was going to figure out what that's all about, um, and I, I didn't. I will though. Uh, this is a remade long sleeve blouse, eighty eight dollars, and they want thirty two ninety nine if I keep this. And I'm seriously considering keeping this. Uh, where do I put this to keep it nice? Right there. This is the Adriana Papel dress, and I'm definitely not keeping it. I, I think it fit me a little bit too loosely, and it is also $33.99. It's not my style, but it's uh, it's nice because it is the maker, or just my wedding dress designer, not maker, designer is the word that I was looking for. So I had three pairs of jeans in there. One of them did not fit with my holiday weight. This pair fit. It's just a style that I'm not sure that I love, although they work really well with boots. So I will try this on again and see if I can get it to work with an outfit. And I'm considering keeping these. Um, I am not keeping... Oh, and these were, again, Vince jeans. And they retail $195 and they were $24.99 if I keep them. I am not keeping this gray cardigan. It's a nice cardigan. Um... Again, that remade brand. And the tag looks like this. It truly looks like something that thread up just kind of throws on there. Come on, focus, there we go. So, I don't know. Um, anyway, so this is a cardigan, $98. It's the retail, they want $39.99. It's nice, it's, it feels really good quality and it's a, it's a decent cardigan, but I'm not in the market for a cardigan. I didn't, I, this isn't my style. Um, and so this was the Elamos three quarter sleeve top. They retailed $168 and they wanted um, $26.99. So yeah, $168. It feels like, I mean it feels nice, it feels like spandexy cotton. So, nope. 
Um, oh, this is the pair of jeans that did not fit. I really would have liked it if they had. Uh, I thought that they, I think that they are super cute jeans. Um, however, that eight pounds worked against me here and I, I plan to lose them, but I don't want to buy something planning to lose weight. Although, no, I mean, I'm, I'm just not going to do it. Um, so these are the page jeans, $190 retail. They want $22.99 if I were to keep these. Um, yeah, they're very cute. Very, very cute jeans. Um, uh, again, these jeans I'm considering keeping. Got to try them on, see if I can build an outfit around them and move around and feel comfortable. But these are the... Pilcro and letterpress jeans and these retail 167 and they want $26.99. I, yeah, I'll see if I um, can feel at home in those, try them on again. I think that this top's kind of cute. It's the Lucky brand um, top, and retails for 90 and they want $28.99. I'm considering keeping this one. It's kind of like peasant girl cute top anyway um i am not keeping this dress although i really appreciate the style of it it's a wrap dress so i can't really hold it up really well and make it look good but um this is the another remade 148 dollars they want 49.99 um and then this calvin klein dress that looks uh just like a uh beach cover-up or feels like a beach cover-up and $139 and they want $30.99 if I were to keep it. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, so that, my first uh, thread up goodie box was more successful. Um, again, that one is the one that I recorded and uploaded. The second one, I didn't like anything. Um, it was like hands down no for everything. This one, there are some pieces that I can truly appreciate, um, but that aren't for me. Uh, and so I might get a pair of jeans out of this and a nice work top and a nice peasant looking top uh, that makes me feel kind of cute and girly. Um, so that's about it uh, for my thread up review this time around. Uh, stay tuned. I am almost at 200 subscribers. I'm going to have a 200 subscriber giveaway once I get there. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you want to try out getting a goodie box, you might as well. 10 bucks if you have the money to spend. But um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching.